Variety, meaning the people that spend the money on Keeley because awesome. So, on the uh, chopping block today, we have the Keeley Abbey Chamber Verb. Don't know who Abby is, but she must be very special. Obviously, we know who Abby is. Abby lives on a road called Abbey Road. I'm waiting for Leslie to hit the not funny button because none of this is funny, but hey, what, what can you do? Um, should have never given the girl the not funny button. So, Abbey Road Studios, famous for, you know, the Beatles, which is what we call them in Germany, the Beatles. And uh, what's, a, what's a chamber verb? Well, before the days of the digital and the spring and the plate, which apparently is a big metal plate, that goes um, they had actual rooms so what they did is they pumped with speakers the to be reverberated signal into that room and at the other side of the room or in a beneficial position they had a mic so they really mic'd the room um, with the room mic so then they uh, could tailor the room with gobos and baffles to sound different. And also the signal that was pumped into the room could be filtered to then have a better result. Now what they did here is try to emulate those classic sounds from the Abbey Road rooms. Abbey Road rooms. Um, in a pedal. It's not a spring. It's not a plate. It's not a hall. It's not a church. It's an Abbey Road verb. And it's special. It is fun. It is, I always want it on. So let's look at it. If Leslie could push the button to bring it up big. There we go. Um, it's first of all, sleek, simple, pretty, and has that very desirable K on it. We want the K. So what do we have here? We have a blend knob, which will allow you to go 100% wet 50-50, which is already quite a bit. So right about here is where you have a decent kind of reverb and you can go nuts with other settings. You have a pre-delay, which means how long does it take for the reverb to even come in? You have a decay, which means how long is the tail of the reverb? So how big is the room? Which back in the day they couldn't change, I think, because the room was actually the size of the room. And you have a... Br Yes, a brilliance knob. Why am I reading over there? I could just look on the screen in front of me. I'm an idiot. We have the brilliance knob. Um, in the middle, nothing gets affected. You can take high end out or add sh chime and shimmer to it. Now, at what frequency do you do this? You do that at 2.7K, 3.5K or really high up there for guitar, 10K. We're going to start at 10K. That's it. Um, Pretty straightforward pedal. You probably set it up in one setting and always go for it. Unless you want special sounds, which we're getting into. Um, as for the setup, Leslie, if you could go to the desk cam. So on the desk here, we have, uh, well, 
not manuals. No, no, I didn't. I didn't have to read Keeley manuals. You know what I'm doing? No. <laughs> On the desk here we have um, a compressor plus which is, you know, for this type of guitar, I just want that always in, that is always on. Um, with like a blend on two, a fat mod for some a little bit of uh, uh, drive if we want that, and then the chamber reverb. Before all of this, I have an Ernie Ball volume for some swells, and that is going right now in what amp, into the, um, go to the amp wall please into the Carl Martin Custom Shop 50, right there. We're gonna check out a couple different amps. And uh, that is going into the Torpedo Studio. So that's it, I have the new software, so there's a tiny bit of natural. The tiniest, tiniest bit of room is already there on the on the speaker from the torpedo, but just natural kind of what's on the speaker anyway. So here's my clean sound. Oh, then. Beautiful, and we're gonna kick it in. beautiful. Um, if in that setting I'm going to dial in more of the blend, 50-50 right here. <laughs> it's already a lot of reverb, okay? Um, Let's go back to over out here. Um, let's see what happens with brilliance all the way up at 10k. And no brilliance. Not so much difference, really. I, I, I can't tell the difference. Ah, those 3.5k really come through. That's a lot duller. Uh, 2.7 That's bitey as hell some pre-delay there's a bit 
of a <gasps> bit of a slap back happening. Like a, you know? Obviously, hear it the more you bring in the reverb by itself. We also call it latency nowadays. If you get that tempo synced with whatever you're playing, this is kind of cool. Cool. Okay. Let's look at the decay. This is a short reverb. times and that makes it jazz. That is so beautiful. I want the 10, I want it up even though I can't hear it. cool thing you can do crank it up all the way get the volume pedal down and do a nice swell like this it is a very very creative pedal so last thing we're gonna do actually dial in a decent one like something that works as a normal reverb oh. we're gonna go in a couple different amps it's not an overdrive we'll do it anyway so remember that setting actually if you go to the amp wall it should not be in the way go to the amp wall Leslie we're gonna go through some different amps just leave the pedal there Right now we're in the car, Martin. I'm going to switch to the Rev, top left. It says Rev in really big letters. We're going to switch to the Dietzel, Dietzel Powell in the middle. C30 and the victory V40 on top back to the Carmarton
So, what do I think? Hey, Abby Chamber Verb from Keeley. In the US, it's $149. That's a freaking no brainer. In Germany, it's a little bit more expensive. Taxes, distribution, all that stuff. Of course, you know, hey, we make the stuff over there that we make here more expensive. And they, and the other way, and everything, you know. Hey, I love this thing. It is not at all your standard reverb. I think it's highly creative. It's in small doses. You're kind of always on pedal. Um, even for, for drive sounds, oh, which we haven't done. Let's do a drive sound. Told you all about the fat mod and didn't do it. Let's do it in the My Two Cents part, right here. shit bigger holy crapola This could be killer for your kind of Eddie Van Halen type verbs, where you know you have that modern plexi sound and of course the tiny bit of phasing, but there was always a verb. And it's over here, it's over here, it's not over there. I mean, it's over there, but it's over here. You know what I mean? Hey, absolutely recommend it. I'm not giving this up ever. It is just the, I want a little bit of stratty tally, I want a little bit of classic sound, and I don't. I just want a little bit of, you know, a little bit. And it gives you that. Or it gives you a lot of bit. Um, and then with a the, with the swelly bit, beautiful pedal, nothing wrong with it. Good packaging. You even get a sticker. You get feet. Everything that I would bitch about is uh, not there. Oh, the one thing I would bitch about is there. Let's do this here with the filaments. The uh, power in is directly on the PCB, there's a hole in the chassis, it's not secured with anything, which is, you know, the nice thing to do. Let me see if I find something. No, that's also PCB mounted. Okay, we have a Wampler pedal here, also PCB mounted, just a freaking hole in the chassis, Brian, what the fuck? Um, Matt Professor, another nice boutique pedal, also PCB mounted, just a holder in the chassis, what the fuck, Strymon, what the fuck, um, uh, uh, Keeley, what the fuck, all the really nice pedals do, what the fuck. Um, now you get something like this, which is of course the Dev Henrexia. Can you, can, Leslie, can you show the Dev Henrexia here? Which is of course a beautiful pedal with beautiful people on it. Um, and back to me. Now this has something like this, which is a plasticky ring it's I, it just feels some pedals have this i like it more for some reason i don't know i don't know if anyone can come in kick your nine volt while it's on your pedal board and break it off it's it's not an issue i just think what why 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 not why not make it the tiniest bit nicer so that's the only gripe i have it's really it's really a non-issue i'm saying it anyway Thanks for watching. Links below. Get this if you like it. Through my link, that would be nice. Also, there's a Patreon account link that feeds the doggies, which is cool because they like to eat. They're not in here anymore because Leslie's up in the room editing, so that means they're with mommy, the little fuckers. They like her more. Well, I can understand that. Um, and now some animals doing stuff for you.
Hello, I'm a handsome prince and I live in a fairy tale land. I know really lots of things. Let me show to you, my friend. Hello, I'm a crazy spook. 